KKB's uniqueness lies on the fact that it focuses on small-scale renewable energy generation. I'm joined by CEO of KKB, Antoine Miu. Welcome, Antoine. Thank you for having me today. So, first things first, why renewable energy and why on a small scale? Indeed, uh, what we observe is that electric energy consumption is increasing from year to year despite uh, all efforts to be more efficient. And this has to do with a growing world population, but also increasing life standards. In the same time, we observe that our fossil fuel resources are not infinite. We're actually consuming faster than we discover new ones. So we have a real um, necessity here to find an alternative energy source. The other big topic uh, we are all aware about is the global warming. So that's why we have to be very determined in, in promoting uh, renewable energy. Now, small scale uh, here refers to smaller than 15 megawatts, so it's not micro scale. And there's really three reasons why we focus on, on this um, niche. The first one is um, in continental Europe, it's densely populated and mega projects are not well received. So there's a social and environmental uh, reason why small scale is better. And there's a technical reason also in that uh, distributed generation minimizes transmission losses and is, goes together with smart networks. So it is the future. And finally, as an investor, we have a good deal flow in, in, in smaller projects. So we think accessible projects, good deal flow, and the other reasons together um, you know, are, are a, a good rationale to focus on this niche. So what is the uniqueness of the KKB model? Um, how does it make KKB different? Mm -hmm. Well, first, what do we do? I mean, we acquire and operate hydro, wind and solar power plants. So we focus on all the three major renewable energy technologies. We acquire them and we operate them. Now, what is unique about our strategy is diversification. We do not only invest in solar in one country, but really in the three main technologies and currently across five countries. And this diversification of revenue is very important if you consider that renewable energy are an intermittent uh, varying resource. The other um, unique aspect about KKB is uh, its shareholding uh, structure. On one hand, we have three Swiss utilities, which are our cornerstone investors. And on the other hand, we have financial investors who have a focus on sustainability and who give us uh, the professional uh, level in terms of reporting and, and uh, acting towards our shareholders. KKB is also listed on the Bern Stock Exchange and that makes it one of the, the only uh, renewable energy uh, infrastructure vehicle or one of the few really in, in Europe where you can invest in. And that combination between listing and Swiss utility investors, financial investors and diversification is what makes us unique. So KKB was recently announced as being part of the largest solar park in Europe. So how does this fit the small scale idea? Thank you for the question. Indeed, uh, the Sestos project is with 300 megawatts, the largest uh, solar PV project in Europe. And we are proud to be part of it, but it's not our project and we are only one of the shareholders. In fact, this project was split into a number of sub-entities and sub-companies and we had the chance to acquire two entities, each of them having a, a, a power of 12 megawatts. So 12 out of 300, it is still a small asset for us or a small uh, power plant. However, you are right, in a certain sense, this is an unusual project for Europe because it is really very large. Um, however, the geographic area where it is implemented um, uh, makes it um, acceptable uh, as there, there is no other use of that land. So what is KKB doing going forward and how are you financing? Mm -hmm. Well, we were founded in 2005, that's now eight years ago, and we started with two small hydropower plants, two megawatts. We are now, eight years later, we have reached 100 megawatts and really gone from one country to five countries. Uh, have gone through a strong growth in the last couple of years, growing 50% every year. And we want to continue with this momentum and reach 300 megawatts by 2020. So it's a threefold increase. 
to be a leading uh, actor in this small power generation niche in Europe. Now, the way we finance this is uh, we have, of course, our, our three utilities, Cornerstone Investors, who are um, bringing in equity every year. And we are also uh, part of that, uh, doing capital increases every year now. And the financial investors are supporting us as well. So we will this year do a capital increase, which will fund uh, the growth for the next 18 months. And we will continue on that path. Renewable energy is certainly a really important sector that we'll need to focus on for the future. So thank you so much for your insight today, Antoine. Thank you for your time. That's all from Antoine and myself for now. Thank you for tuning in and remember to keep clicking back to Duke's Copy TV. Bye for now.